Alrighty guys, welcome back for more Earthbound Last Parts. We defeated Carpenter and got Paula! Paula! We just got her right now. And let's see, she is level 1, alrighty, with the same stats we had in the beginning of the game. So, but just she does have the PSI Freeze Alpha. Cause a very cold, curled, very cold wind to swirl around one enemy, inflicting about one. Wow, that's pretty good damage. Inducing power. May freeze the enemy completely, may not be so effective against some enemies. Makes sense. And yeah, so now that she's weak, we gotta go buy her some equips that we had at the store. Um, Shower of Charm. I don't know what the hell just happened with my voice there, but uh, Paula's gonna equip the Shower of Charm. That's why we had it. Very good against uh, Paralysis, so let's go. We gotta protect us from some of these enemies because this cannot be fun. And oh, come on! God damn it! Pictures take it as a daily. I've got every genius, but it says so myself. Okay, good reference to memory. Good luck to cut up. Fuzzy pickles. Alright. And Paul doesn't even do anything. She's just like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> like, who the hell is this guy, Nias? He's like, D just smile with Paula. Holy shit, a lot of birds! Oh man. Alright, so this is gonna be the first fight for Paula. Uh, basically, she's pretty useless for now, but she can actually pray, which uh, you can see it up now. Recovered no PP, apparently. Oh, he just stole the bread roll, that's not good. And now that we have Paula, we can actually have extra inventory space, so that's very nice. We were actually running out. So, that's good. There's a cookie. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I don't want to freaking fight these guys anymore. Run! Alright, so now that we have Paula, guys, we're gonna go to the friggin' second sanctuary dungeon, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah. Let's take it out of the mysterious looking cave. Alrighty. Uh, her equips. Mostly offensive are always fry pans. Don't tell me why. That's very, very stereotypical. But you know, and she actually likes to wear ribbons a lot, even though she already has one on her head. And damn, that's a lot of, that's a lot of change. Um, copper bracelets, very good item. Don't I already have that? I do have that actually. All right. Yes. No. All right. Let's get the hell away from here and actually go inside. I'm a changed person. I'm no longer a believer in happy happyism. Anyway, I'm very curious about that place that lies ahead of here. Yep, and that is a cave to awesomeness. Let's go, guys. Uh. This is the Mole Plane Rough. Maybe do the name RPG Mole Plane Rough. I don't know. Um, what do you want to do? Is actually just bash him, have Paula usually do freeze most of the time, and you will see something very nice. And thank god we have the teddy bear, that would have been nice for Paula. Alright, 130 damage. Paula is made my most useful, one of our most useful characters, actually there's only four, I don't know what I'm talking about. So, no, Paula goes to level two, alright. Level three. And she learned fire alpha, so that's nice. Uh, four. Defense, defense, speed, IQ. And now she's level five, oh my god, too many levels. Alrighty, so we're gonna check out uh, PSI Fire right now. Fire burst from the fingers and a row of enemies take about 80 points of damage. So that's pretty good. Uh, so fire comes from the fingertips. That sounds pretty interesting. You could probably like flip off your enemies and then fucking light them on fire. That'd be pretty funny. So anyways, you wanna go down. Whoa, there's a skull there. That's pretty creepy. Let's fight. Let's see how we're doing on health. Let's fight the mole plane rough. And usually these multiplayer ropes are really easy if you have uh, PP with you, so we're just gonna keep on doing this. He's sizing up the situation, and I don't know why he did that. He feels a little strange. We're oh, back to normal. That's nass. Not really. Oh, and by the way, if, uh, if you guys have been watching me uh, recently, like about right now, where it's August 8th, I think we just learned something, I don't even notice. Um, you've noticed I've been uploading for a while, that's because uh, I needed to get a new headset. What is this? PSI shield, I don't know if she had that. Protects one person with a psychic shield, blocks, uh, ha, 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 ha. nice. Alright, let's go. Ooh, there's some bats there. No! That's not good. Um, 
Paula can do this, Paula can do that, and there you go. It's the Batty. These Batties are, uh, I think they can actually, yep, they size up the situation. And so can the Moleplane Ruffs. Alrighty, um, just keep on doing the same thing, there's really not much you can do. But a little strange. Then I'll work on Mr. Bat to be. Oh, come on. And you are dead. Let's go, Paula. For some reason, fire takes up more uh, PP than free, so that's not really that good. Uh, it does weaker damage, but it does attack a whole row of enemies, so that's nice. Wow, that's a lot of XP for Paula. Nice. We actually want to grind up a little bit more so we can probably get our other third offensive one, her main offensive one. Great charm. Let's see. Um, great charm. Wait, I think Paula has that actually. We actually want to get up to Ness. Ness, Ness is basically our tank in this game. Wait a minute. Great charm. What? Must be quick on your. Oh, on your body. Okay. It's basically like a travel charm, but a little more defense. All right, and more speed. Oh, come on. Alright, I'm gonna skip this fight, guys. <sighs> Paula's now level 8. Oh, baby. Offense went about 3. Defense and speed and HP. And she learned PSI Thunder Alpha. One of the best moves ever. Not really. Um, let's see. PSI. No, 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 no. Stat hiss. Alright. PSI Thunder Alpha. The enemy is Thunderstruck for about 100. Oh, that's a good song, Thunderstruck. For about 120 points of damage, you may miss when there are a few enemies that eliminates a psychic or a psychic power shield. So that's pretty good on some enemies, but uh, most of the time it's just going to miss. So, uh, My advice, if you see a whole bunch of enemies, I would advise you to actually use Thunder because it actually works very well against a whole group of people. Uh, there's actually something up here that I want to... Oh, no, 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 no. Something up here that I want to get. Ah. Uh. Alright, thankfully most of these enemies just size up the situation pretty bad, but there is one enemy in particular. It's that guy right there. There's a croissant inside. That bear is friggin' annoying. You wanna save as much PP as- Oh, come on! We just f Wait, what? Alright, whatever. Level 9. Alright. Oh my god. Well, that guy just killed our teddy bear. That's not good at all. I'm gonna proceed ahead. At least it's just these two. Man and wife. Not really. This is these two best friends. Oh, no. Um, How am I doing on health? Ness does not look too good. So we're going to use... I guess life up. Alright. Mr. Bear. Let's go today, bitch. Matty Bear. Alright. What you want to do is just... Do as many freezes as possible. Thank God I saved up a bit on PP. Oh, come on, Ness. God, the music is so trippy. Alrighty, that was not too bad. Did a bit of damage on Ness, but that's alright, as long as it did not damage Paula. Oh no. Oh, and there's another bed. Hmm. Oh, and there's actually supposed to be a magic butterfly there, but apparently there's not. Alright, this does not look too good, so I'm gonna use Rockin. And Paula, you're gonna do some freeze. Alright. Oh no, Paula, don't die at me. Oh man, she's dead. I knew this was gonna happen. Fuck. Alright, I guess we'll pick her up after this fight. Thankfully, we have that, uh. Thankfully, we have that freaking, um. Couple life noodles. That's level 18. And we learned Flash Alpha. That's actually what I wanted to get to fight Mr. Carpenter, because he's actually weak to that, and not look at Paula. <laughs> um. Couple life noodles. Thankfully, and sadly we only have one, so that's not too good. Um, there's actually supposed to be a magic butterfly up there. There we go. Right, this makes it a bit easier for us. Damn it, this sucks. Alright guys, welcome back. Sorry about that, I had a little interruption there. I had to check something. Alright, so now we get some... Um, hmm. Now uh, we have freaking this stuff, we're pretty good. Polish should get a little bit more just to be on the safe side. Um, all 
Alright, there we go. Sorry, this part is a little bit boring, guys, but I kind of want to be safe. May just relax. Alright. Let's go on ahead and. No, I don't want to fight the bed. I don't want to get another magic butterfly. It's unnecessary. Come on. Alright, you know what, guys? For the sake, Bean, I'm just going to fight this mother. Oh, I thought I got him from behind. I was like, what the fuck? Alrighty, dude, you're gonna be screwed. Hopefully, do not. Uh, oh my god. Hopefully, do not attack Apollo again. There we go. Alright. And Apollo level 10. Alright. Sweet. And I forgot to check um, PSI. No. Wait a minute. Status. PSI flash. It generates a strong flash that can make the enemy start crying uncontrollably. And in some circumstances, feel strange. So yeah, PSI Flash, if you guys remember in Super Smash Bros, um, Ness does his B-move. Well, not Super Smash Bros. 1, it would be Melee and Brawl. He does his B-move and uh, it does a huge-ass green like flash thing. People keep on thinking uh, Ness keeps on saying, PK Cross! Or whatever, but, you know, he says Flash. So anyways, let's fight this baddie and skip this, or not. So let's avoid the Holy shit! Oh no, this is going to be a scary fight. I might as well put this on screen. Actually, no, it's only two guys. Um, let's try flash actually. That sounds pretty interesting. And freeze. Did not stop crying. Ah, oh, damn it! I wanted to work on the bear. At least he did not attack Paula. But yeah, most of the time when they're starting to cry uncontrollably, they cannot uh, see anything. Which kind of makes sense if you're crying a lot, like really hard. You're kind of blind for a bit unless you wipe your tears off your face. But in this game, uh, if you're crying uncontrollably, that means uh, you're going to miss a lot during your uh, offensive attacks. Not really your PSI attacks for some reason. Well, I guess because if you're using your mat- Ooh, Paula just did a smash! Nice, nice, Paula. Alrighty. Yeah, thankfully this uh, cave is about to come to a close. We're almost there. Um, there's one item that's very nice right up there. And damn it, there's another bear. Um, why the hell do we have a freaking cookie? Let's use that right now. Um, bread roll. I guess I'm using that too. All right, and we're gonna fight this guy. All right, you gonna get frozen? Smash and freeze. Yeah, that's just gonna do him really good. There you go. He's done. Lack dinner. Dinner. I wonder what's for dinner. Oh boy, I could eat a fucking Octorok. Here we go. We got friggin' PSI Karma. What that does. Very nice item. In Mother 3, they use a lot of these kind of items. Replenishes 20 PP. So if you're low on PP, you can use that. And it's one of the only items that you can use PP. Replenishing. So this is the second boss. And we're going to show him off actually right now. Or maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I might do a cliffhanger. Just to mess with you guys. Uh, let's see. He's like Karma. Eh. I guess we're fine. Let's see how let's see how Ness is doing on health. Um, I guess it wouldn't hurt to try. All right, let's go, guys. You finally got here. This is the second your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. I'm Batman. No, it's Mondo Mole. Mondo Mole. He's got a weird-looking mouth and claws, like all orangey blood. But anyways, don't look too hard in the background, guys. That's gonna Oh god, it makes me a little bit dizzy. Um, Mondo Mole, he's actually weak to paralysis if I found correct. 8 PP, that's not really that good. Um, and he's also weak to, I believe, was it freeze or was it fire? I don't remember. But let's try him. Paralysis. Alright, now he became numb, now he can't really attack us. So this is gonna make the fight a whole lot easier. 7 HP, so obviously that was a great move, guys. Um, let's see. He's he has paralysis, so he can't attack us. This will be a piece of cake. Um, let's try thunder, because our attacks aren't really that strong anyway, so. Damn it. Alright. Um, let's try fire. 39, that's not that bad. But if you actually do a normal attack, I believe that only does one, so I'm not going to try it. Uh, let's try thunder again. I think that was a pretty good move. If I'm correct. Oh no, you can do life up. Shit. Oh yes. Just did a perfect amount of damage. Uh, thunder. Damn it. Oh god, this guy's gonna keep on abusing that, I can already tell. 
Um, I believe you get Magnet at some point, but Paul does not have that yet. That's actually for recover, I believe. Uh, Thunder again. Damn it, that's not a good move. If you think about it, like in Super Smash Bros, I mean, that kind of misses sometimes, unless you know how to aim it. But in this game, you have to take your chances. And now he has a Psychic Shield. And now we just took away- wow, that was, that was just useless. Alright, just do Thunder again. And oh, we missed. Oh, come on. Alright, you don't forget it, we're just gonna bash him. Let's go, Ness. Let's go, Paula. Look at 1 HP. It's really not even worth it. Uh, let's just do Prey. Paula Prey with her whole heart. Warm lights around her Ness and Paula. Alright, so I basically did nothing, but... Yeah, Prey is just a random move. Anything can happen. Like, enemies can come from the dead. You get HP, you get PP, or maybe the enemy gets life. I don't know, but just, just whatever. So let's just keep on doing it. Whatever. Hmm. Oh, no! Damn it. Alright, whatever. Okay, we don't need that. Um, Let's use the bomb? Alright. We should have gave that to Paula, but whatever. That's the bomb. Oh, shit, that did really good. Alright, we beat him, guys. Hooray! Holy balls. <laughs> That's a lot of experience. Level 19, vitality, and luck, and HP. That was pretty crappy. L uh, let's see if Paula gets something good. Ooh, Guts pretty good. Uh, ooh, and she goes freeze bait. That's very nice. And she's level 12 again. Oh my god, can you imagine if she just died in that fight? That would have been horrible. Thankfully, we had a couple life noodles. And damn, she just went up freaking three levels. Huh. Alrighty, guys, let's step inside. What is in this sanctuary location? Ness briefly had a vision of a baby in a red cap. As the sounds don't record the melody of the lily footsteps. Ness touched the soundstone to his forehead and gathered his thoughts. Alrighty, so now that we have two of the eight melodies, we gotta go ahead and proceed. And to where, you ask? We will have to go back to Tucson. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate it. And actually, well, if you come back here, you actually replenish your health and your PP. So, that's very nice. But, uh, in the next episode, guys, we're going to return back to Tucson and uh, tell everybody that Paula is okay. And why is to play the music again? Ah, whatever. So, I'll see you guys in the next part. See you guys later.